What's up everybody, this is Limits, bringing you guys another high level Halo Wars video. This game is going to be against Tensa, the Olympians, and Trance, and I'm playing with Forges Down in Elysium, and this game is going to take place on Frozen Valley. So, we are in a Forge RB Brute Mirror, and I'm playing as the Brute, and I spawn in the middle. And if you guys take a quick look at the map, you can see that Tensa is lined up in the middle across from me, and he's closer to the reactor than Forge's Down is. So, they have a little bit of an advantage there. But even a bigger advantage is you can see the Brute is right there in that corner, and he is lined up across from Elysium, which is our Arbiter. So, leader positioning does have quite a bit of an effect on this map. And right here, um, Elysium is getting hit with his ghost and he ran to the middle and healed and he went back to hit that chopper and I rammed it so right away right here I'm going to be harassing this chopper because most brutes on Frozen Valley will go temple first and if you go temple first as a brute it's really important to keep your chopper alive and uh, collect crates so I told Elysium that and I told him that it was important that we take care of this chopper right away and that's what we're going to be doing So Elysium's going to run through and chase it on that side, and I'm going to go over to the other side of the base and trap it. And now his chopper's gone, so if Trance did go temple first this game, he just took a huge um, economy crush by losing his chopper. And since I'm in the middle of the map here, I can hit either the Arbiter, the Forge, or the Brute. And I'm unsure who I want to hit this game. So I'm kind of just scouting around. I see that the Brute either went Temple first or second. Can't really tell off of what I scouted. But I am going to keep my chopper there and potentially spawn lock. And the Arbiter, as you guys could see, was in the middle of the map. We don't know which way he's heading. And I do miss the spawn lock here. And I do see that yellow hogs are going to the middle as well. And so instead of unlocking here, I'm going to build a turret because I have a feeling that um, they're going to be trying to spawn lock me. And there's the Arbiter raging to try and stop my brutes. So basically I DQ'd the turret, did not unlock, and saved my brute squads. So I'm fine in that aspect. Now as you can see here, the... Uh, Arbiter and Warthogs are on my base, so I could get cheesed, and I'm going to get Citadel right now. And I'm going to take this time to say, you know, Tencent actually does have some pretty good strategies and some pretty good builds, but as far as execution, it's pretty laughable. So if I do make mistakes against Tencent, it usually will cost me several minutes to recover, but as far as losing the game, it's, it's not happening. So anyways, Tensa tries to build a marine and I just vortex it and kill it right away. So he's not going to be able to get anything into the reactor. And now Forges Down comes up with his Warthogs. And together we're going to make sure that nothing gets out of his base. So at this point I have an Arbiter at my base and it's not even worth trying to get a summit up because it's just going to get knocked down so I'm going to keep up some supply pads and building Brutes. And Elysium right now is defending a Brute Rush and we have no idea where Tensa's Hogs are at. So I'm actually going to be walking my Brute Chieftain over to the Brute's base since Forge's Down had uh, Fusion under control. And by the way, Fusion is Tensa. I, I sometimes call him Fusion because he's an older player and that used to be his older name. So anyways, I see that Trance has a uh, Brute right next to his base. And we're going to be Vortexing this. That's one less Brute Squad that Elysium has to worry about on defending. And I see that he's Blessing Pads. And so when I said that Fusion had some pretty good builds and strategies, but laughable execution, you guys are going to witness it right here. 
We're going to take advantage of this. As you can see, Forge is pelicaning over his Marine to our hook. And you see Fusion is coming up to spawn lock. And then he goes back after the uh, Pelican when the Arbiter was also chasing the Pelican. So I'm just going to unlock my uh, Brute Galore. I think I have like four or five that were locked in my base here. And now Trance is in pretty much a hurt because Tensa did not spawn lock me. And so I locked up my base back up, so just in case. And basically we're just going to strip Trance. And at this point, I do have Hog still on my base, so it's not even worth me trying to get a summit up still. I don't really care about getting air. I'm just going to keep building some supply pads, upgrading my back supply pads that aren't going to get hit, and I teched my Chieftain to do extra damage. And right here you see that Trans has a locked base and we don't know where his chieftain is at. Elysium did defend the brute rush and as you can see on the mini-map the chieftain right there he's gonna flare is going to get a heal and since his base is locked he's probably building brute squads is which I'm or is what I'm assuming so I'm gonna go ahead and target down his temple and drop uh, his ability to build brutes unless he wants to pre queue him up and now I'm going to be getting my summon up finally Now that I took out his temple, I'm going to stick my chieftain on any pad that comes up because an inheritance chieftain will just stop that cold. And then my brute squads will finish off what um, basically is left on the base. And as you can see, Forge was doing a horrible uh, goss build on this map, but they actually played it pretty well that they forced him to do that build. And he will still be getting Goss before Fusion while doing that build. So it does look like they have the Hog Lead right there, but I completely teched my Chieftain to full tech 1, and Trance is stripped completely. And I'm going to, and I got a turret up right there. And that's basically just to protect my summit for now. And I see that the Olympians came all the way back over to Trance's base with an engineer to heal the base and raging with his arbiter to basically kill all my brute squads. So I saw that Trance unlocked and had quite a few brute squads there. And I look back at my base and see that he's porting them in. So I'm going to be recalling and playing defense on myself here with uh, Banshees and my Inheritance Chieftain. And Forge is actually going to help me out here. And I told him I didn't really need his help. I just wanted him to basically finish off this Chieftain and I could finish the Brute Squads off. But he's actually going to turn around and help me out with the Brute Squads. And then he's going to go back after that chieftain. And as you can see, he does have Goss, and Tensa does not have Goss. So basically, I'm going to be boosting my Banshee over to that one base, and Forge is going to start getting his expansions up and pumping Goss all over the map, basically. And I flared up Trance's base because we were wondering who we wanted to hit. We were kind of deciding and discussing right there. And I flared up his base and I said, don't worry about him, he's in the Stone Age. And the Arbiter is back at my base. So Elysium did ping over here a little while ago, saying that this is where Tensa's expansion was at. And he does have Goss now. 
So I walked my chieftain over there, and I'm porting in brutes and banshees. And I just kind of wait for the arbiter to walk off before I unlock. And the Olympians already has vampires, which is not a very good sign for me. But since I'm building um, brute squads, I can still do efficient base damage even if my banshees are going to be getting stasis or dropping fairly quickly. And my chieftain is tech 1 full, so I do have a tech 1 vortex. And that's going to be good enough. If I do catch these hogs here, I'm going to get quite a bit of damage down. As I quickly kill a hog right there. And the arbiter is forced on a recall. And is coming back to rage down basically my brutes and my banshees. So between the goss hogs and the vampires I basically lost my entire army here. But I'm able to get the base with my chieftain. And at this point, Forge is down, is actually hitting Trance's base with his Goss Hogs. And Elysium pushed up with his Arbiter, and he is Tech 2. So since I can't really make Banshees with the Vampires out right now, what I'm going to be doing right here is basically sending my Chieftain over to this reactor and Vortexing the Olympians out of it. And once I'm able to vortex the suicide grunt out of here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to be building up a brute and sneaking a brute into this reactor. As you could also see, Trance is now defeated, and I'm going to try and keep my chieftain out of the line of sight so they don't see that I'm going to be porting in a brute here. And a brute comes through, and now I got Tech 2. And so with Tech 2, I'm going to be getting a birthright chieftain, and slowly pumping some vampires. I see that my chieftain's getting targeted down by vampires and he's low health. So I'm just gonna recall him and heal him up. And it's not quite often that you see a tech 2 chieftain in high level games. Usually a lot of people just sack the chieftain and go into a double pump of air units. But since we do have a commanding lead on tents of this game, I feel the need that I should celebrate with a tech 2 chieftain. So I could go into a double pump myself this game, but I want to play with my chieftain a little bit, so I'm going to be staying on the single pump, and I'm going to tur it up just in case the goss hits my base. I don't completely screw over my team by losing my base to goss. And as you can see right here, uh, Forge is down, is going to be harassing Fusion's main base. Man, I really keep switching in between Tensa and Fusion. Oh well. So as you can see, the vampires are uh, basically going to be taking me out of that reactor. And Forge is not going to be able to finish Tensa's base. <laughs> he was just hitting Fusion's vest. Now he's, now he's trying to fight Tensa. <laughs> oh man. So basically, right here, uh, I'm going to keep on turreting, single pumping some vampires, and then I get taken out of the hook. So can't pump any more vampires. And the Olympians just rebuilt his Arbiter, and he's going to feel the need to rage down a Tech 2 Chieftain until he finally probably looked at my Chieftain, saw it was Tech 2, and didn't want to rage at it anymore. So Tensa is going to come over with his Goss Hogs and basically start shooting my Chieftain, and I see that. Olympians is trying to get another suicide grunt into the reactor and I'm just going to vortex that. And then I'm going to throw the vortex over here into the vampires.
And he's just out of my range a little bit there, so I just kind of explode my vortex. And I'm going to start hitting pads. But my chieftain already lost quite a bit of health. So I'm just going to take this time to basically pour it in my vampires and try and get this uh, reactor back. And this is when I'm going to get cute with my vortex here. And I'm going to just, just basically lose my chieftain, so that's kind of sad. That's why you really don't see a chieftain um, in 3v3 that much anymore. A lot of teams run double arbiter because the chieftain's really just not effective when it comes to goss battles. He can basically give you an air lead and build you the banshees, but in a lot of occasions it's a lot better to have double RB running around the map to rage down tanks or goss as opposed to a chieftain because the leader is useless after uh, quite a bit of time goes by. So there is quite a bit of explosions as you can see Forge is down finally took out Tense's base his main base that is and Elysium has double based and taken this opportunity to start getting Tech 3 Arbiter and Forge is down is going to be on a quad base now and I'm still not going to shield I'm going to refuse to shield and I kind of just want Tensa to hit my base because I'm going to now uh, tech <laughs> like I'm right there I'm teching medium turrets and getting some anti-vehicle turrets going and I rebuilt my chieftain so I'm kind of just toying around this game I know Forge and Elysium are still in uh, win mode but Tensa even though he lost his main base is still on three bases which is actually kind of impressive but I don't need to build any more vampires I'm not even gonna build any more air I just want to play around with my chieftain at this point and Forge is going to go over to Tensa's secondary and third base his first two expansions that he got and I'm gonna go over to this far base here and the best thing about this uh, Tech 2 Chieftain is even though Tensa is on three bases right now you can pretty much say he's only on one base and then he's gonna be on no base because he can pump out of the base that I'm at, but I'm going to yank every Warthog. He can pump out of the base that Forge's down is at, but that base is now gone, and Forge could just lock up the Hog right away with all of his Hogs and kill him. And then he could also pump out of the base that Elysium's at, but it's just going to get raged, uh, raged down right away. So basically his pump was triple stopped right there. I'm just going to keep whacking at this, and take a look at the clock All units. All units. and the arbiter did catch forge's hogs but doesn't matter i think forge is going to take care of that arbiter on the mini map and elysium just caught all of tense's hogs and pretty much i'm going to be stopping this base right here to the point that tensa should be resigning anytime So I'm kind of disappointed that Tensa did take out the base next to mine, but didn't attempt to take out my base. I really wanted to see my medium anti-vehicle turrets go to work. And I'm actually attacking large turrets right now, so... And I see the vampires right there and I get a stasis lock on them. My Tech 2 Chieftain is going to be finishing off this base. And I'm just going to start clicking Forge to pump and base around the map. So the Olympians is going to resign when Forge rolls up with basically full pop goss. And Tensa, as a last ditch effort here, 
for some type of moral victory at the end of the game is going to try and finish off another one of Forge's bases. So now I'm going to be teching my Tech 2 Vortex that I'm not going to be able to ever use. And Forge is going to be upgrading his base. And here comes Tense's last ditch effort. And he's just going to resign because the list seems Arbiter's right there. So comment, rate, subscribe. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and have a great day.